everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I'm here with a haul revisit. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. This one is a haul from 12816, so well over a year ago. And we're gonna see what I used out of these 25 products that I hauled this particular time. Some of this is really bad, like embarrassing bad, but we're gonna jump right into it. First up, this was a massive Black Friday haul that I had placed. I titled it Massive Black Friday Haul. I had four packs of my e.l.f. makeup remover wipes. You guys know I went through those, no problem. I love those things, I use them all the time. So that was in and out, no problem. I also had the e.l.f. Aqua Primer Mist. This is empty, this is alcohol now I use for repressing my shadows. And this one I used in a drop 10 before summer, I believe last year. It was not a primer mist. I just used it kind of like a refresher spray because it didn't do a whole lot, really. Then I had the e.l.f. Lash Tint. This was what I was going to use as a bottom lash mascara. This has not been opened yet. I've never even seen what the brush looks like because I've never tried to open it. I don't know if you still can now. Like, can I even still use this? Let me know in the comments. It's never been opened, but I question a lot about this. So I don't know. I never reached for it. I think after I hauled it, a whole bunch of the people in the comments were like, good luck with that. It's really bad. And I was like, oh crap. And then I just never reached for it. So maybe I'll open that up and check soon. Then I had an e.l.f. under eye hydrating primer. That has come and gone and I did use that up. Then I had blotting papers because I was like, they're so cute. You put your fingers through this little thing and there's tape on here and you stick it and you take one and you blot. This tape is still on here because I've never used any of these. And I was like, there's a mirror on it. It'll be really convenient. I've never used these in a year and a half since I've owned them. So these will likely be um, gifted to a friend or something because I don't see myself ever using them. The e.l.f. Aqua Mousse Foundation, that had zero pigmentation. It did not color match me and I unhauled it to my mother. The e.l.f. Beauty Sponges that I was hoping would be a dupe for the Beauty Blender and I have no idea if they are or not because I've never opened them. I own them still and in the last year and a half I haven't even tried to use them. Sorry. Uh, a couple things that were sent to that were given to my mom for Christmas. A lot of this had been orders for Christmas gifts. So I had Real Technique brush sets, a face and eye set. Those went to my mother. A makeup case that went to my mom. A cosmetic CC cream went to my mom as well. Then I had a Lash Princess Duo. This came with the like teal green and peachy pinky one and I use both of those. I like them a lot but I find that they do not last three months on me. They dry up and flake after like two so those are both gone now. Then I had my Make Me Brow by Essence and I have since repurchased. I got two of them in that particular haul. I've used both of those and I've repurchased this a whole bunch of times over. This is the one I'm using right now. It has this little tiny spoolie and you just run it through your brows and I love it. And I am in the color Brownie Brows. So that one's been repurchased a whole bunch. Essence Eyeshadow Base. This one I did not get in the correct color. I meant to get this in uh, the lightest shade and I ended up going for a very, very yellow shade. Can I make this work? Probably. Have I reached for it? Not once. I've never tried this on my eyes. Then I also had a whole bunch of samples that came in an order. So it came in like a gift bag kind of a thing and I've either used those or decluttered them or I'm just not hunting them down. And that's the same. I got samples from Ulta, samples from Sephora. I got multiple different like sample sacks and because around the holidays whenever you place an order you got like one of those sample things with a code. I'm not reaching through for like little tiny perfumes and stuff like that. I'm sure I still have some of the perfumes. I'm sure I probably still have some of the little sample foil packets but like they were little tiny samples. Then we had some Toka hand creams. It was a set of three and I was going to gift them to my aunts and I got jealous and I kept them for myself. I've used two of them up. This is the last one left. This is in Love Yourself. It's watermelon and frangipani. And this is in the scent Simone. And I have used this a couple times, but this one is the only one that remains out of the three. Then I have Goof Proof Bells from Benefit. That was a point perk that I got because my mom really wanted to try it and I ended up giving that to her for Christmas. And then I had my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I am trying to hit pan on for my A to Z project pan. So I have been using this over the last couple of months, but I got this in 
like I said, December, early December, and I just started using that within the last couple of months. So shame on me, but I am using it now, so that's what matters. I also got my NARS Goulet blush, and this was the uh, perk for being a Sephora VIB Rouge. I've never used this on my face once, but I don't wanna get rid of it because it actually is pretty. I just forget I have it. So I'm going to keep it because I spent $1,000 to get that little tiny freaking blush and I will never be VIB Rouge again, so I'm never gonna get another one of them. Then I had my Clean Reserve Trio, and it was these little three little roller balls, and I've never used any of these. This is suede out, which I put in a project and then got rid of because it smells like hot tobacco leather. It's disgusting, so I'm gonna give this one away to someone. And then I have Blonde Rose and Warm Cotton. Both of these I will use, I just haven't yet, so these will probably end up in a project at some point. Then I had my Sephora Faves sample pack, which was, a whole bunch of different things and I've used all of those. Those I really do tend to move in and out quickly and if you want to see everything that was in that box you can go check out that haul. It is the, like I said, the massive Black Friday haul. Um, I will link it down below and I'll put it in a card up here but I, I'm sure I've used all that stuff. Then I had an Origin sample pack and I believe I've used all of that. That was skincare. The only thing that I still have is a foaming mask cleanser. It's in my bathroom and I don't feel like getting it because it's just a little foaming, like almost aerosol spray. Looks like the size of like a little tiny uh, dry shampoo bottle and I still have that. And then I had a Smashbox Sephora VIB exclusive. This had a whole bunch of little things in it. So it had a Smashbox primer oil. Haven't used that yet, but I plan on using that up and I had the Screenshot Eyeshadow Trio. This has never been touched either. I have the Smashbox Highlighting Stick in LA Lights or Hollywood and Highlight. I don't know. Uh, this has also never even been swatched. Never touched that still. The Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Palette, which I am using right now. I'm trying to hit pan. I'm using this to set, this to bronze, and this to contour. And it's actually what I'm wearing today to bronze and to contour and to set under my eyes. My goal is just to hit pan on these and really get use out of that. So that is being used as of the last like two months but these other products have not been yet. This was one of the samples that I got in the Sephora skincare sample set. This is the only one I have left. This is the Tata Harper Purifying Mask Deep, Deep Cleansing Detox Treatment. And this is going into a project for Drop 10 before summer. Uh, so you can look for that on Thursday. This will show up in there. So my goal is to finish that up. And then the last thing I had was a skincare set by Sephora. So they put together like Sephora favorites for skincare. And the only thing I had left from that is this Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil in Honeysuckle Vanilla. And I do loved her Whipped Argan Oils. This is still sealed. I have not used this at all. And it will keep for a while. So I will have to use this at some point now that I realize how old it is. But this is the only product I had left from that set. And that's been this entire haul. I ran through that really quickly, I think. I'm happy to see that it went where it was supposed to go. It went to my mom for Christmas. And I'm a little bit embarrassed that I've had this mascara this long and never opened it. And some of this stuff, it really re reminded me how long I've had it and how much I need to get use out of these things. So hopefully these things will start showing up in projects soon so that I can start rotating them out of my collection. I'm definitely gonna hopefully be moving through some of these roller balls and some of these other, especially this cream product, I really need to, to work on that. So hopefully that can be in a panning project soon as well. And for now, that's been this particular haul revisit. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Click subscribe before you leave if you want to. And click that little notification bell so you know when I put up new videos. And for now, that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.